The delivery's still not here. Oh, what's in the delivery? Almost everything. I hope my gran hasn't screwed it up. She said she paid the invoices as well, but she said she found it tricky. Hey! Let's not J to C's. What? Jump to conclusions. Oh, and it's only the delivery driver's second day on the job, so... Well, hi, Elaine. All go. See you later. Oh, hi, Yasmin. Uh, when you say everything's on this delivery... I mean, we're running on empty. There's no flour, and without flour, we can't make bread. Hey, I could run to Dev's. He doesn't sell it. What flour? Not the kind we use. Hang on a sec. That's the driver. Hello? M105DP. You were supposed to be here no later than 11 a.m. Okay, thanks. He said he set off late because his newborn had a bad night. What am I supposed to do with that? Why should someone else's problem become my problem? That's what we used to say at work. Very true. I bought a couple of tables last night. We're expecting you. Oh, my sister was supposed to be joining us. We are a lot, but she had to wait in for a parcel. <laughs> and don't get me started on my husband. Stuck at work, or so he says. So you're no longer 12. We're three. But believe me, you're better off without him. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> is it you we're congratulating? Dad passed away 20 years ago, but we still like to mark the occasion. <laughs> Two bottles of Prosecco when you're ready, please. I'm afraid we don't serve alcohol. I beg your pardon? How can you be lost? I gave you the postcode three times. But, well, whereabouts are you? But which swimming baths? No naan bread, I'm afraid. No naan bread? We're completely out of flour. The delivery's late. <sighs> We'd love to be chapatis, then. That's the same problem, I'm afraid. Um, we won't charge you for the rice. No, I can't stay on the phone. What do you think this is, air traffic control? I've got customers waiting for their dinner. A restaurant that doesn't have bread or wine. She said she won't charge us for the rice. Did you feed the three stooges this morning? Yes. What's he say? Jimmy's tarantulas. I'm asking if he's fed him. Ooh, horrible beggars. <laughs> he's got a favourite. Other two get jealous. <laughs> it's because you only ever take Larry out of his aquarium, that's why. Fenarium! Hey, could have been worse. There's supposed to be a dozen of them. If you're at the lights by the synagogue, you've gone too far. Well, that's further away than where he baths. His sat nav's not working. Oh, why can't people use the A to Z? Oh, it's a bit crunchy. Just get back on the bypass and head towards the football ground. Then keep the park on your right and keep going until you see an outdoor shopping centre. Hold on, I've, I've got someone on the other line. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, just hold on for one second. Look, I'm sorry, but I've got the bank on the other line. Just ask someone. Hi. Um, yeah, define suspicious activity. Who is it? Apparently, there was suspicious activity on our online account yesterday. It would have been grand with all those invoices. I knew I shouldn't have let her loose on the new system. Look, let's not J to C's. Yeah, sure, it's Ali and Azir. 17th of the 2nd, 93. My kitty, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <sighs> well, it looks like they're enjoying it. Oh. Well, they can certainly eat, that's for sure. Yeah. I thought that little lad had brought his own sandwich when he came in with that box. <laughs> so long as they don't want ice cream for dessert. Huh? Where's the toilet? Through there. Mm. Is he off? Mm, it's two o'clock. You can set your watch by him. Mm. Oh, we are. Finally. There you go. Here's the flower. Oh, sat nav was good as gold yesterday. Went all the way to Kettering and back without a hitch. Didn't encounter any traffic in Leeds whatsoever. You went to Kettering via Leeds? I know. You wouldn't think it, would you? I'd off my cap to technology. Shall I bring it in? Please. Ah! Oh, what is it? Tell me. That's not what I think it is. Oh, it's Larry. Who oh, is it? It's yours. Jimmy's. Well, grab it. Oh, you must be joking. Well, where is your lad? He's in the cars here with his comic. <laughs> this could take some time. <laughs> it's a tarantula. What? 
What kind of a tarantula is it? Mm, I told you we'll find him. You don't need to call pest control. He's a pet, not a pest. It's the RSPCA. Look, he's in a restaurant full of paying customers. They didn't pay. Well, can you blame them? We should add their bill to yours. Elaine. Good luck with that. Have they found him? He's a Mexican redney. Ah, it's a Mexican redney. The claim is very friendly. <laughs> I don't see why we should pay if they're not. If he is lost, then I am suing. Oh, you brought him in here. Where's the sign that says not to? It's a given. What? How do I know? He's wearing a sombrero. He'll turn up. He always does. You mean this happens a lot? Every now and then. Let's just say he knows his way around JD Sports. <sighs> so what is the latest on our eight-legged friend? Jimmy thinks he's cornered him. Come on, Larry. I've got a nice grasshopper at home. I'll give you a beetle as well, if you don't tell Curly and Mo. Hell yeah. What's up? Hey, they'll get him. It's the bank. What about the bank? Gran said she had trouble paying the invoices. Yeah, but she sorted that out, didn't she? Our account's completely empty. What? Which account? The business one for the restaurant. It's all gone. I've got him! What did you hear that, love? We've got Larry. Safe and sound. <laughs>